Hey guys, um, another quick video about your Jackson County physical fitness health. So I just want to give you this data for you to have something to compare it to, to get an idea of Western North Carolina health and to get an idea of the county that you are going to school in and be able to do your blog for this week. So as you can see here in your PowerPoint, Jackson County, no leisure time physical activity recommendations, which means that people are just unable to do the recommended amount of physical activity is at 22.3%, so that number is rising in 2018. And to compare that to Western North Carolina, North Carolina, and the country, um, we in Jackson County are far lower um, within that range, so that's, that's a good thing of people not able to do physical activity is lower than the, the country average in Western North Carolina, so we're doing good in that category, but unfortunately we are continuing to see an increase in that. So um, just another thing for you to consider when you're doing your blog of looking at the 50% that they said are participating in, in physical activity um, and looking at the number that's increasing that are not doing physical activity. And then you can see, like I said in the other video, 22% are actually meeting the recommendations, which is 150 moderate minutes of physical activity per week. That's ACSM guidelines. So only 22%, to be specific, 21.7% are meeting that in 2018, um, which is about par for the course when looking across the board. But that's still a considerable amount of people that are that are actually meeting the recommendation. That's less than a quarter of the population. And I find that to be very interesting that less than a quarter of the population are meeting recommendations according to this community health assessment where we ask people individually and your book is stating 50%. So again, I really want you to evaluate that and I want you to look at that and say, hey, you know, why are they saying 50%? Where are they getting that number from? Critiquing those thoughts and really expanding it and coming up with explanations in Jackson County of why that number could be lower or higher or exploring different options. And then to go with the physical fitness of Jackson County, I really wanted to display the overall weight status within this county and across the board, really. So in 2018, you can see that 22% consider themselves at a healthy weight, and that is a dramatic decrease from 2012. So you're continuing to see a very large decrease um, in people who are at a healthy weight. And that is almost 10% lower than Western North Carolina. And again, almost 10% lower than North Carolina as well as the country. So we're continuing to decrease in Jackson County with people who are considered at a healthy weight. And I want you to tie that to your physical activity recommendations and why Jackson County is less than a quarter percent and your book is saying 50%. Where are those numbers coming from? Why is Jackson County different? What are we doing that could be helping, could be hurting, um, and contributing to these numbers? And then again, you can look at the opposite of obesity. So as healthy weight continues to decrease, you can anticipate that the overweight and obesity rates will increase. Um, you know, those are those are pretty much connected. So 42% are saying that they're obese in 2018. That's 10% higher than the country, 10% higher than Western North Carolina, and 10% higher than North Carolina. So again, thinking about the recommendations, the physical activity recommendations in the book, um, and how these statistics are not jiving with what we're seeing within your textbook. Um, and kind of thinking through evaluating programs, evaluating the county, what you know about it, doing your homework, and um, coming up with, you know, ideas of why they're different and critiquing this 50% um, and providing those resources. So again, that's your Jackson County data. If you have any questions or you want further input of that data, please just let me know.